I thought this could be a fun idea for a video. Again, off-season content. People seem to enjoy the tier ma uh, maker thing I did last time. So let's keep it going. Maybe this could be a, a series uh, for the off-season if people enjoy them. Again, something silly I thought could be fun is my previous controversies. Listen, you talk enough NFL stuff. People are going to get mad at you at, at certain uh, ones of your takes. So I figured let's make a controversy tier list of my previous controversies. And I'll explain them if you uh, have not followed this channel closely. So don't worry. You don't have to you know, go back and watch all 3,000 of the videos I posted before you get here. You should be okay. Um, you know, I haven't had just uh, setting it up. I haven't had any major like actual controversies. And, you know, my controversies have strictly been football related. There has been no, uh, you know, no canceling going on on the Jackson Kruger Sports YouTube channel. These are strictly uh, football takes that have resulted in controversies, but still, uh, I think it should be interesting. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into these controversies. Controversy one, the TJ Watt one, uh, me saying the TJ Watt contract was a bad one and that I think pass rushers in general overrated. This is an S tier controversy. I mean, this is one that people are still bringing up to this day. It's still a war I have with a lot of you in the comments section. Uh, a couple things about this controversy. To set it up, if you are unaware, I when TJ Watt got his contract extension, I was just working on something. I just It kind of coincided with I was working on a, a study I did that kind of talks about how pass rushers really aren't as valuable as people realize in today's NFL. Just the, again, I've done, done a lot of videos on it, but there's a lot of statistics that show that having valuable pass rushers isn't quite as important as having valuable corners. You know, the teams that cover well tend to have a lot more success than teams that rush the passer well, things like that. Um, and so when the TJ Watt contract happened, I figured, okay, perfect. Something topical to draw it in. The issue was I basically invited every single Pittsburgh Steelers fan to talk about this. Uh, and I brought, made it a TJ Watt argument, which it really wasn't. I think TJ Watt is incredible and it was never an insult on TJ Watt. It was more about pass rushers as a whole. But when I made it with TJ Watt in the thumbnail, talking about the TJ Watt contract, uh, this was the one video on my channel that uh, has uh, below 50% likes, uh, which was, you know, again, it wasn't my best made video either. I didn't expect it to kind of become what it, uh, a bigger deal, but it's still a take I believe in, but definitely one I didn't say very well. Uh, and I, I think, again, kind of been proven true. We see the big contracts receivers get now, uh, which was a big part of that take was, hey, you should pay receivers. Now teams do, but they weren't at the time. So in some ways I've been proven right, but either way, wasn't my best video and certainly a, an S tier controversy. The next one, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons, uh, this was a good, it was an okay controversy. So I said I thought that the the Dolphins should have drafted Micah Parsons at number six. Uh, one day, uh, they drafted Jalen Waddle. A lot of teams were projecting they were going to get Jamar Chase and projecting that Panay Sewell would go fifth overall. I was pounding the table. Micah Parsons should be the pick here. It, I'll give it a D controversy, to be honest. This was, I remember we did our live mock draft, and the chat just blew up when I made this pick uh, with him at six. That was kind of a big thing. It wasn't a huge controversy, though. It just it was a narrative at the time. So uh, that's where it is. Next controversy, uh, the Buccaneers beating the New Orleans Saints. To me, this was, you know, I predicted the Buccaneers to beat the Saints. I very strongly predicted the Buccaneers to beat the Saints. I'm going to put it as a B. I remember the comments definitely killed me a little bit saying, uh, you know, because I, I believe I started the segment by saying I'm trying to not seem like a biased Buccaneers fan here. I came off as a biased Buccaneers fan, I think, but I actually think if you go back and rewatch that podcast when I predicted the Buccaneers to beat the Saints, this is in the playoffs, of course, um, I, I really kind of nailed it. I talked about how the, I think the Buccaneers defense will actually shut down the Saints offense, which was just not a take that was happening at the time. People were convinced the Buccaneers were going to, uh, if they were going to win, it was going to be 38-35, to 35, given the way the last couple of games went. And I kind of brought up the the man versus zone coverage uh, you know, splits and how if the Buccaneers play man, their defense should actually be able to shut down the Saints offense. And I was right. So it was a good take uh, in hindsight. But at the time, it kind of just came off like a Buccaneers fan being a homer. And maybe to some degree, that still was the case. But uh, either way, definitely one that got, got the chat uh, pumped up uh, when during the podcast. Um, the next controversy, Justin Herbert. I think this is an S-tier controversy as well. I really do. Uh, me not having Herbert as a first-round pick, which was something that made me have to completely reevaluate how I view quarterbacks 
uh, evaluations in general. I pay way more attention to a lot of littler things now. Uh, it was definitely at the time uh, just a mistake. It's something that I don't think I would make that mistake again, but I made it at the time, uh, and I had some valid reasons, but I really I don't think I paid enough attention uh, and, and watched enough tape as I should have and as I do now. Um, this is one that uh, you know, I made a video called, uh, you know, why idiots like me misevaluated uh, Justin Herbert. And then the uh, someone uh, tweeted it out saying like credit to this guy for owning up to his mistake. And then the Chargers actual account like retweeted it and like uh, I think quote tweeted it and something. So it ended up getting like a ton of, you know, traction on social media, this controversy. But that that's when I look back at and kind of laugh more than I, uh, you know, I don't think it was a it wasn't a, uh, uh, you know, terrible because a lot of people had that take as well and I think it's in some ways a credit to how I view my previous self and the fact that I was able to kind of learn the right rest lessons from a mistake and you shouldn't be feel embarrassed for being wrong you should feel embarrassed if you were wrong and then continue to do the wrong things over and over again which I do not so that's kind of how I view that um, you know, the Khalil Mack take, I think this is going to be an A1. This is, well, going ways, a ways back now, the Khalil Mack trade, uh, which actually goes back to when I was, I was blogging, you know, I blogged a little bit before I, you know, as the YouTube channel was taking off, um, before going to YouTube full time, I was a big fan of the Khalil Mack trade when it happened. I really was. I, I thought that the Raiders did the right thing. They got a lot of draft capital. I still think it was the right trade. They just completely botched every single draft pick from the trade. I think if they actually, you know, had decent uh, drafting abilities, they would have looked back and said this was a great trade, just didn't work out for them. Um, this is another one. I'm not sure if it's a great controversy, but it was one that I felt like belongs on the list. Andy Reid, uh, Andy Reid's the thumbnail thing, but the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl back in 2019, if you remember, uh, basically what happened here was I did a video heading into the playoffs where I did my bracket, who I have winning every game. I predicted the Chiefs to win. That was a controversy at the time because a lot of people thought the Ravens were going to win. They were 14 and two, definitely one that aged well for me. So I feel good about having some of these controversies age well, not all of them, certainly. Uh, but, you know, this one aged well for me. That definitely, uh, again, early on in my YouTube career, people thought, oh, you're just saying stuff to get clicks and stuff, which doesn't really work. But uh, that's what people said. However, um, you know, in hindsight, uh, it worked out for me. So there you go. The uh, the 2021 NFL draft class. This is another S tier controversy. I think the just you know how wrong I was for one thing, having Zach Wilson at number one, having Justin Fields at number six in my quarterback rankings, just completely off, uh, terrible. And people certainly let me know it, know it on Twitter, especially that all that first year. Uh, you know, again, if, if I'm still getting comments on Twitter about it now, and it was two years ago, that's an S tier controversy. Finally, Trayvon Walker. This is an interesting one. I think I'm going to put it in A, the Trayvon Walker controversy. I did not have Trayvon Walker as a first round pick. He goes first overall. I think my reasoning is sound, and this is something that people still brought up. Again, he had one sack his rookie, uh, his first game, and people were high on him, but as a whole, hasn't done a lot since then, uh, and I think had a disappointing rookie year, but there's still plenty of time he could turn it around, I'm not giving up on him or anything, but just the, uh, you know, again, me being a lot lower on a first overall pick, going to generate some controversy. What's interesting is it wasn't that controversial when I said it, but it became very controversial after the fact, which was just interesting. Uh, you know, when I, when I said it, people kind of said, yeah, yeah, the logic is uh, smart. The reasoning is smart. But then kind of after he was a Jaguar, a Jaguar, I think maybe Jaguars fans kind of partook in the controversy and stuff like that. But as a whole, again, uh, that that's one that I would still say is a. Uh, I, I don't look back on that and say that was like a bad uh, take or anything. So far, I think I've been proven right, but it's one year. So who knows? But yeah, those are my biggest controversies. Those are the tiers of how big of controversies there were. Hey, one in each uh, tier and then three in the S tier. But yeah, uh, you know, those are my takes. Hey, what was one of your favorite, one of my hot takes that I didn't mention on this list? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.